Hello everyone, happy Thursday. Today I am going to show you how to add an average numbers in a list using running total in Power Automate Desktop. This is actually uh, a video to reply one of my uh, followers on the Facebook group uh, Power Automate Desktop. So if you want, if you have any questions, you can actually go to this Power Automate Desktop public group and uh, post a question there, or you can uh, comment in uh, my any of my YouTube videos uh, on any questions that you may have. But I think using Power Automate Desktop uh, public group in Facebook is much better because you can put a screenshot. So I have a new joiner here. Uh, his name is Alan. He said um, whether uh, I can help him to take the first five rows of his list and uh, sum them and then average them and then decrease by four and give the result in a variable just using Power Automate. This is possible. So I am going to show you how to do this. Hello everyone. My name is Hao Zhong. I'm here to help you to use Office Work tools such as Excel and Power Automate. If you think my videos are helpful, Please help me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you. So the first step, I have prepared a list of uh, numbers as per Alan's screenshot. So he wants to average these five numbers, right? So you can see the average um, number is 11.24498. Then he wants to minus four from here. So I have created a Power Automate Desktop to do it. So as you can see, the results of my Power Automate Desktop flow, I have an average of 11.24498 and I have a results of um, 7.24498, which is the average minus four. So the first step in this Power Automate Desktop tool is you launch your Excel and open the following do document. So I open the um, the Excel file that I have created just now. Um, the rest you can leave it as default, right? Then you read from Excel worksheet. Excel instance is Excel instance. Retrieve all available values from worksheet. And then in the advanced, uh, disable get cell contents as text because uh, your list is value. Then first line of range contains column names uh, enabled if your column has a column name. Various first produce is Excel data. Then you make the column into a list by retrieving data table column into list. Data table is Excel data. Column name or index is zero. Variables produced is columns as list. The reason I put column name or index as zero is because uh, Excel data, right? Your, your first column is always uh, zero. Then, this is very important. I set variable running total value is zero. Then I use loop, start from zero and to four, because I only need the uh, five, top five numbers as per uh, Alan's screenshot. So zero is for the first number and uh, four is the fifth number. Then increment by one, variables produce is loop index. So if I go to this column as list, you can actually see the first row is uh, zero. 
So that's why my loop index starts with zero. And then and then uh row number four here, number four is actually the fifth number, right? Then I use set variable. Variable is value. Then uh n percent column as list right then square bracket loop index close bracket close square bracket and n percent this will actually retrieve the first number here huh? then the next uh, very important bit is you set variable your variable is again running total but this time you you use running total right which is uh, zero for the first step plus uh, value right value which is your value here right then when it loops again right this running total will become the previous value right plus the new value uh, which is the second uh, number on your on your list and then it will go uh looping for uh four more times right so that it will your running total will add all the five numbers so if you have uh if you want 10 numbers right top 10 numbers you will put a nine here all right so zero to nine means there are 10 numbers from your list then you end then what you do is set variable again because you want the average so you put uh, n percent running total divided by loop index then uh, n percent so i think there's a bug with this microsoft power automate desktop loop index here is should be four right because uh, your your loop right ends in four but actually when you look at the loop index right it's actually five the numeric value is five so so if you want the average right you just use a uh, loop index here it is actually uh, whatever the last loop index plus uh, one so you, once you get the average uh, this Ellen's uh, special request is to minus four from the average, right? Um, so that's how I get my results here, which is eleven point two four four nine eight minus four, which is seven point two four four nine eight. Um, I hope this video has helped you, Ellen. I also uh, hope that this video will help other people when they play with numbers using power automate desktop if you like my video please give this video a like and then subscribe to my channel for more videos uh, thank you very much for your support take care bye bye